The Bible is an inspired writing. That is, it's both inspired and it's a writing. Because God inspired it, we can expect to meet God there. Because it's a writing, good reading skills help us to understand it the way God gave it to us. So in terms of the context of the paragraph and the book in which it appears, the context of the original languages, that is, we have that in translations, the context of the culture of the time, and that's why we have background commentaries. What the writers could take for granted, their audiences knew, so they didn't bother to explain it to us. We call that background. For example, in Mark chapter 7 and verse 3, Mark says the Pharisees don't eat without first thoroughly washing their hands. Matthew, however, doesn't give that explanation. He leaves it out because his audience already knew it. But like Mark, Matthew would have explained it if he'd written to people who didn't know the background. The language that they wrote in is also something that is sort of background. Some centuries ago, some objected to having translations. If you don't know Greek and Hebrew, though, you need translations. Our translations take care of much of the language, but what about the figures of speech? In English, the figure of speech like, I have a frog in my throat. In French, the closest equivalent would be, I have a cat in my throat. So figures of speech differ from one language to another. Translations can't always catch that. What about allusions to stories, ideas, and events? that they knew about in the world around them, which most of us don't know today. So pick what you need. We usually don't need to know all possible background to catch the point. We need to obey more of what we do understand. But sometimes we need to know what was going on. And other times background can help us understand or identify with the first audience more. When I preach, I find that those who already know the Bible stories or passages are still eager for the extra background. If this is what God said to people in that situation, what would God say to us in our situations today?